I spent two hundred thirty-four dollars at Trader Joe's today. Prices have gone up, and it's common for me to spend over two hundred dollars on my weekly groceries. However, for me, it's still a lot to spend over two hundred dollars at Trader Joe's, because Trader Joe's is not a complete grocery run for me. I usually have to supplement and shop at other traditional grocery stores to get everything I need for the week. So spending over two hundred dollars at Trader Joe's is a lot for me. My first mistake was to go to Trader Joe's hungry, which resulted in a lot of snacks and impulse items. In this video, I'll show you how I spent two hundred thirty-four dollars at Trader Joe's. Stick around until the end of the video to see what I ended up eating for lunch from Trader Joe's. First, I got some arugula, broccoli florets, and butter lettuce. I got two bags of each. I also got two cartons of organic eggs. I'm trying this green goddess dressing for the first time. It's kind of pricey, a very small bottle for three ninety-nine. Then I walked by and impulsively got a vanilla overnight oats. I've been wanting to try it. I figured I can have it for breakfast tomorrow. I also got a tub of fresh mozzarella, my favorite. Then I got to the snack aisle, and that's where my hunger kicked in. I got golden round crackers since my kids love them. I couldn't pass up these hot cocoa stirring spoons. They look fun, and I figured I probably need this at some point in the winter. I couldn't resist the cheese bites, which are Parmesan crisp. I also got a box of cheddar cheese rocket crackers for my kids since they like them. I had to get these okra chips. They're healthy and super addictive. And of course, I had to buy these super spicy ghost pepper potato chips. I don't know why at that moment I felt I needed to stock up on these, so I got two bags. Then I had to get a bag of plantain chips for my husband. I've never tried these cheese and truffle corn snacks before, so I figure I'll give them a shot. I can't leave the store without buying a bag of these kettle corn. They are so good. I'm out of coffee, so I got the Colombian coffee and Trader Joe's coffee cups. Both are medium roast, which I like. I like decaffeinated tea, so I got a box of green tea and chamomile tea. These sliced French brioche bread are made in France. They are so good. I can't leave the store without buying them. Then I got the lavender hand soap and the lavender soap for the guest bathroom. There was a new Thanksgiving end cap, and I couldn't resist and got the cornbread stuffing, even if I don't need it immediately, since it's only October. I also got two cartons of portobello mushroom soup, which I figure will come in handy in my pantry. I usually use mushroom soup to make pot roast. Then I got one can of fried onions, which looked delicious since I was hungry at that time. My son likes these apple sauces. I can't remember if we're out, so I got him a box just in case. Then I got sparkling berry lemonade and sparkling water, which are impulsive since I know I still have sparkling drinks at home. Now for the meat. I needed chicken, so I got two packs of organic boneless, skinless chicken thigh. I also got the marinated chicken, chicken shawarma, and pollo asado, and a pack of these marinated beef bulgogi. I also got one braised beef roast, since I can't leave the store without them. They come in so handy for last-minute meals. I realized I forgot the grapes. I went back to pick up seedless green grapes. The grapes are always so good at Trader Joe's. I also got a tub of grape tomatoes. Now on to frozen foods. My freezer is kind of full at the moment, so I couldn't buy a lot. I got all Asian frozen food: a bag of chow mein, one bag of vegetable fried rice, and two bags of my favorite orange chicken. Trader Joe's is smart. They put impulse items above frozen foods. These dark chocolate cookie sticks caught my eye, and I decided I couldn't leave without buying one. These cinnamon school book cookies are my kids' favorite cookie, so I had to buy one too. Then, as I was heading to the checkout counter, I saw two more things I didn't need that I had to buy. The first is these crispy jalapeno chips. Then I couldn't resist this super cute Trader Joe's tote bag that is actually a reusable bag. As promised, I wanted to show you what I ended up eating for lunch after grocery shopping. I couldn't resist, and I knew I had to have the brioche for lunch. I made peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, and Trader Joe's, if you are watching, here is a new product idea for you. Can you bring in this strawberry ice wine jam? They are a step up from the regular strawberry jam. I've never seen them here. I can only get them from Canada. Aside from the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I also had a salad for lunch. 
I tried the green goddess salad dressing for the first time. I tossed it with butter lettuce and some mozzarella and tomatoes. The green goddess salad dressing is really good, although expensive because it's such a small bottle. So this is how I ended up spending $234 at Trader Joe's. I probably could have cut my spending in half if I didn't impulsively buy all those snack items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.